Hi, do you use Cypress IO? It's a test runner to run your end-to-end -end tests and maybe you are wondering how you can run your tests even faster. With larger projects, the test should grows and grows and takes dozens of minutes, maybe even hours. And to run your tests, your CI builds really fast, you basically would like to cut the time down as possible. And to do that, we could split your tests across parallel uh, CI nodes on your CI provider. And I will show you how I'm going to do it based on example project from Cypress.io. They have a project called Kitchen Sink, and we are going to use the tool I created called Knapsack Pro that will split your tests across parallel CI nodes using dynamic uh, mode called Q mode. So basically, what we are going to do is to allocate in a, in a dynamic way the tests across uh, multiple CI nodes. Uh, yeah, so Cypress IO, you can use it as you use normally. And other than that, you need to just add to your project the package called Knapsack Pro Cypress. Uh, there is a few steps also specific for your CI provider. And uh, after you install the tool, you will have to just configure one of your CI provider. Let's say this example will be for Cy Circle, uh, Circle CI. So the command to run your test would be just this. Uh, and now I'm going to show you one example of CI build for the kitchen sink project that I forked from Cypress uh, repository. And basically I'm running four, uh, four parallel CI nodes here. And here is the command executing my test on the, very, uh, on the first uh, CI node. Here I can switch between nodes and see results for the tests executed on particular node. So, yeah, so we splitted the tests with the Knapsack Pro Cypress. And if you go to timing tab, you can see how time each CI node took to execute your tests. Also, there is some preparation like set up your project and so on. And as you can see, uh, the nodes try to finish uh, work in similar time. So this, this way you get the fastest build. Basically, we want to allocate tests in a way that there will be like no slacking, no wasting time node that everyone else would have to wait for that node to finish work. We aim to finish work at each CI node in similar time to get the fastest result about the CI build passing or not. And yeah, I will show you example on maybe more visible uh, graph. Let's say we have uh, something like this. Uh, here we have time and how long your tests are executed on the CI node. And here we have three parallel CI nodes. Let's say those both CI nodes started working at exactly the same time and they were executing tests and finished here. And also we have third CI node that just started running tests a bit later. Maybe the setup on this node was slower than on the others. And as you can see, this third CI node should finish work also at similar time. And thanks to that, there would be no scenario that, oh, this third CI node started work later. And because of that, it will also finish later. And this would slow down the uh, getting results about the whole CI build passing or not. And similar scenario happened here. Let's say this very last step is executing Cypress test. As you can see, uh, on the first CI node, the work started around here. And on the second CI node, work started much earlier. Here started around here. And on the last CI node, started somewhere here. So as you can see, with dynamic allocation, allocation of your tests across multiple CI nodes, uh, we, we try to auto-balance the timing of your, of, your, of your tests and to get the, the to just eliminate the, the slacking uh, CI nodes. Um, yeah, so this is the example. Also with Knapsack Pro Q, Q mode that does this dynamic allocation of your test files across uh, CI nodes, uh, we solve a few other problems. Sometimes CI providers may have situation like, let's say you have, you have four parallel CI nodes, but sometimes not all nodes are available to execute the work. So you may happen 
with scenario that one of your nodes would start work after all others finish the work. So in such scenario, only on those very uh, on the on those first uh, three CI nodes will run tests, and this four uh, fourth CI node would run no tests at all. Also, some CI providers, maybe like BuildKite, allows you to um, to run your tests on your own infrastructure, yeah, like Amazon or maybe Google Cloud, and there you can buy very cheap instances that, uh, for instance, Amazon Spot instances that can be preempted, so uh, Amazon can take uh, take out access to the instance uh, whenever they want and you have some period of time when the instance must be shut down. So it could happen that during running your tests, the instance, your instance, like let's say your one of your CI node would be killed and you lose the results about your tests. So in such scenario we would like to repeat uh, tests that were executed on that node and let other nodes to run uh, remaining tests. And basically Knapsack Pro allows you to handle those scenarios and many more situations. Uh, so I encourage you to try it out and give me some feedback, write comment on, or maybe just email to me. I would like to hear as much as possible feedback. How could I improve the tool? Uh, you can learn more and uh, and check more information at knapsackpro.com and you can just sign up and try and I would love to hear feedback from you. Thank you for watching and see you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.